come back for the series of reflections on the road to Emmaus. Well, from past three days, we have been seeing the aspect of two disciples, who the first disciple was, whose name is being mentioned in the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 24, verse 18. Now, who is that nameless disciple? We saw it yesterday. Today, we will see what was their state of mind when they began the journey. When they began the journey, they were confused. They were totally at loss. If you read the way they explained to the stranger, we will understand that there was a lot of confusion in them. And what was the points of confusion? We will, we will see it in the later part of the reflections as well. But then, to just introduce what their state of mind was, that they had already lost Jesus. Jesus was dead. Three days back, they had seen how the Romans crucified Jesus and killed Jesus and they had already buried him and then they had come back. Now, the point of confusion is that that women who had gone to the tomb had not found the body. Well, two other disciples also ran, did not find the body and they came back. And when they came back, the women who were at the tomb run back to the disciples and say that they saw the Lord and the angels appeared. So these were uh, full, uh, these two disciples were filled with confusion. They did not know what to take in and what to leave out. The death of Jesus was very sure for them because they had witnessed it. They had seen it or they had heard it or they had seen the Lord being put into the tomb. That was very, very clear and that was obvious. But the aspects of not finding the body in the tomb was not sure. The disciples gone there and then come back and said, not sure. Because of all these things, they did not want to take a risk. They didn't want to take a chance. Therefore, Cleopas and his companion, they tell themselves, why to put our heads into all these mm, confusions? Let's just leave this place, leave this entire way and then go back go back to what we were my friends they wanted to take a new way altogether they wanted to take a break they wanted to start a new altogether maybe all these few months I do not know that these were right from the beginning Klopas and his companion followed Jesus right from the beginning I cannot assure if they had followed Jesus right from the beginning maybe their name should be as part of the names of the apostles, which is not found. If that is not being found, then know this for sure that they might have started following Jesus maybe after a, after a little later. Maybe from the past few months they might have followed Jesus and because of which they were not able to take a right decision. Thus, they wanted to leave this way of life, the life that they had walked about following Jesus, going behind him in Samaria, in Judea and all these places and then now they wanted to start anew and they wanted to detour from the life that Jesus had drawn to them and they wanted to take a new route altogether when they wanted to go back. My friends, let me remind you once again that they were making a journey in the evening. Remember, they were making a journey in the evening. That means they were walking towards the sunset. As long as you walk towards the sunset, I'm sure you will not be able to open your eyes and see the Lord. Only when you make your journey towards the sunrise, you will be able to see the Lord face to face. And I'll give you an example for that in the, in the book of Numbers chapter 21 verse 11, we see the people of Israel who were making a journey in the desert, every day they would get up in the morning and they would walk towards the sunrise and only up to the sunset. And at the time of the sunset, they stop and then they pitch their tents. Every day their work is to get up in the morning and walk towards the sunrise. And your brothers and sisters in Christ, as long as we are making a journey towards the sunrise, we will see the Lord, we will listen to the Lord, we will have an encounter with the Lord and we will see Him face to face or have an experience of the Lord in our lives. But the moment that you start going towards the sunset, I'm sure you will not be able to see the Lord face to face or have an experience of the Lord 
or will be able to listen to the Lord's voice as well. Therefore, our journey as Christians must be towards the sunrise, not towards the sunset. These two disciples had lost their faith, had missed the mark and had gone away. They were going away from the source of life. And when you go away from the source of life, you will walk towards death and not towards life. And these two disciples had missed the mark of an enthusiastic faith. And having lost the faith, they wanted to detour, detour from life to death. But then Jesus appears to them and calls them to follow him back to life once again. Well, come back for more reflections. God bless you.